Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching a, a new format of my videos. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm making music, electronic music, using Linux and open source software. And usually I, I spend a lot of time editing my videos, but then I decided I just want to make more videos and I don't want to spend the time editing all of that. And also OBS didn't want to record uh, in the full-blown mode as, as I wanted and it just crapped out. So I said, screw it, I'm going to live stream that. So let's get to it. In the previous videos, I've been talking about Gian Kick, and um, it's time to actually show it in action and show you how to make some sounds. So today I want to make some kick drums. So this is my Ardor session. I've titled it Drama Queen, just for the kicks and giggles. And I have added already five tracks with Gian Kick in this session. This is Ardor 6, by the way. It's unstable, it can explode at any time, and can be generally a pain in the butt, but it's not, really. Alrighty, so uh, let's create a region. I'm gonna snap to uh, quarter notes. Yes, please. Okay, so let's make ourselves a nice... I'm gonna move it. You know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move this... Um, here. Now let's loop it. Okay, so we can hear our basic uh, pattern. Now let's open up Geon Kick. And uh, let me do this thing so we can see it better. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make it stay on top so it never goes below. Can you see it? You can see it. Okay, I don't want to obscure the interface. Alrighty, so this is Gian Kick. Let's make a kick drum out of that. Uh, also, I'm going to root it to my keyboard, so... Now I can just press a key on my keyboard and it will play. However, uh, that is um, velocity sensitive, so if I press soft, it's gonna play quiet. If I press hard, it's gonna play loud, which is cool. You want this kind of expression. Alrighty, let's make a kick drum. So. Uh, in the previous video, I've made an overview of the user interface, so you already should be familiar with that. If not, I'm gonna put a card here somewhere, maybe later, to link you back. If not, search for Introduction to Geonkick or Introducing Geonkick on my channel, you'll find that. So we are on layer 1, the layer 1 is enabled, we are on the layer 1, we are on the general amplitude. Let's go to oscillator 1 frequency instead, and now we have uh, the frequency plot from 1 kHz to 20 Hz. I'm going to ramp up the frequency. First, let's start off with something we've been doing recently, and that was a Psytrance kick. So I'm going to insert a new point and bring it down somewhere like to 50 Hz. Bring down this also to the same frequency, and now let's play a note. Alrighty. This is kind of kick-like, but not quite entirely. Okay, that's better. Now, I think that... So you see the amazing thing about Geon Kick is that you have this immediate feedback of your waveform. You're just... You just see what is the wave file generated under the hood. And we can tweak the, oscill the envelope. And it immediately gives us new sound. I'm double clicking to insert a point. This sounds pretty okay. Let's uh, now maybe ramp up the amplitude. Now I am going to switch to the amplitude of the oscillator 1 and I'm going to make this a percussive, classic percussive envelope. Now let's maybe make, rise the amplitude envelope power to 100% so we can see that like nothing changes in our envelope but the maximum value changes so here our maximum value is 0.5 the same is true with the frequency if I switch to the frequency if I turn this knob it's going to change the maximum value of our envelope let's go back to the amplitude we can 
The funny thing is we can emphasize different frequencies in our kick by by changing the amplitude envelope because the frequency is changing throughout the time and we can emphasize which parts of the kick drum are louder and which are quieter. Well, that basically changes how the kick is EQ'd, right? I think this is a little bit too long, so I'm going to maybe use the general envelope and uh, just cut it short. Another thing we could do is use the distortion, but you know what? I'm going to keep this for another kick. So this is one of our kicks. Let's call it side kick, as in a side kick. Ah, you get it. Sorry. All right, I'm going to copy this region by con control dragging it. Let's make a sequence of kicks. All righty, let's let's make another kick, shall we? I'm going to open another instance of Geon Kick. Make sure you can see the whole thing. Uh, yep. Oh, we didn't listen to our kick looped. Wait a minute. What is that ping thing? I think it's a bug in Ardor. Also, the tempo is wrong. Let's maybe 150. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's just triggering the first uh, note here. Right, shouldn't. Okay, that's how our first kick sounds like. Let's go to the second kick. Let's loop that. Okay, let's solo the track to make absolutely sure nothing else plays, so it doesn't mess up our our, our <laughs> feeling and, and hearing on what's going on. I'm going to also assign the keyboard input so I can play this kick too. Now let's go for something more like uh, drum and bass, maybe. So this kick, um, it should be shorter. Let's go for the oscillator frequency. Maybe make the amplitude higher. Oh my goodness, sorry. That was loud. Oh, that's weird. Why does it end here? I think there's a real bug. I'm gonna click away to a different. Okay, and back. And this, yeah, this is a little bug. I'm just gonna click on this and, whoa. Oh, that's real weird. <laughs> You know, normally, if if that was be recorded and edited to a T, I would not show you that. Probably wouldn't show you that, but because it's live, you you get to see all that crap. Okay, this kick should be more snappy. It should be doesn't shouldn't start as as high. Uh, should be shorter. By the way, there's the general envelope length. We can just scale this down. It's a bit loud, isn't it? Alrighty, let's play around with the amplitude so we can maybe emphasize and de-emphasize some parts. As you see, I'm usually cutting off out something in this area. I think this is where the, our 500 hertz should be. Oh no, it's 80. Okay, never mind. Doing a silly thing. Now, what I want to do is add a noise layer. That's very cool. Let's enable the noise generator, noise source for this layer. And now I can switch to noise amplitude so we can uh, decide where the noise is and how loud it is throughout the whole thing. Let's make it present very quietly throughout the whole sample. Maybe it's good. Uh, I want to use the filter. It's a low pass filter. Let's make it a band pass. 
Alrighty. Uh, Uh, I'm reading the chat, by the way. I, I shouldn't be. I don't want to get distracted. Sorry, but I, I read you. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I think I want to try some distortion this time. Let's enable it. And you can see it actually... It, it immediately squarified the whole thing. Let's play it. Pretty nasty stuff. I'm going to go to the general settings and reduce the amplitude. And you see it, 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 it rounded off again. So I'm going to increase the volume of the dif distortion. It's actually the post distortion volume. So it, this is the post gain. It's actually the post distortion attenuation. And with the general amplitude, we can tweak the, the pre distortion gain. So now with this general amplitude envelope, we get to decide how much distortion every part of our kick gets. So now the transient gets all the distortion, which makes it very, very clip clipped and harsh. And now we can like make this or that really weird. Doesn't really sound like it should. This sounds pretty decent. Now the, yeah, we could turn down the volume here to like listen to it on, on, on lower level. I think it's pretty decent. I think that would work for drum and bass. Okay, let's call this um, GNB kick, whatever. Yeah, let's. Uh, this one would require a special pattern. Okay, I like that. Now, if if you chat have any ideas for for the kick styles I should cover, um, go for it share your ideas i'm gonna i'm gonna appreciate that whoa all the kicks played at once let's solo the kick free let's open the plugin i'm gonna make it keep above others which is good you know what i'm gonna cover all the midi stuff we don't need to see that we don't really using it when we're tweaking the sound what type of kick should that be let's try and make a a hard style kick, yeah. I like to keep that for the final, fin final, f the, the the last stuff, the last thing. But I, I'm gonna definitely try to make a hard style kick with this. I I probably will gonna fail, but I never tried it again before. But I'm gonna try anyway. Let's maybe now try to make a realistic sounding kick. Let's try to put something that. Make something that sounds like a real kick drum. Now, what I would be, it would not be having as much frequency changes throughout the whole sound. And usual kicks like, uh, they are like around 100 hertz. And they have this um, like a rhythmic pattern. And And they would be really, really, you know, like really soft, rather. I don't know if I will really be able to go f to, to produce a acoustically sounding kick with, with GM Kick. I haven't tried it yet, but let's let's go for it. I hope we can learn some things. Even if we fail, that's really <laughs> the goal of fiddling. You try to do something and you fail and you do something else, which is also cool. Okay, that's... Um, it should be quieter, like it should fall, fade out pretty quickly. Oh, I inserted one extra point. Okay, let's switch to a different envelope and switch back and we have this one, which should not be here. Let's fix that now. Actually, you know, this sounds more like an 808. Shh. Screw it, let's go for an 808. We could actually play a melody with it. Oh, it's a bit too... 
Let's make it distorted. Noisy 808. Let's add some noise. Let's make it bandpass. Oh, that's loud, sorry. Holy noise amplitude. Let's make it also fade away. It's still too loud. It should be little noise, very little. Okay, let's enable the filter. And then we distor enable the distortion. Oh. Pretty decent. Let's use a general amplitude envelope to create a distorted da. I think that's pretty pretty okay. Like we can play a we can play a melody with this, you know. Now we can. It's gonna probably sound pretty pretty weird and distorted. By the way, oh that kick should go for note C. Let's go for note G. I know it's easier to just tune it for G. Oh man, but what's gonna Oh snap. Okay. So I enabled tuning to the pitch of the of the key you press. Okay, now I'm I'm playing a G note and we get the sound we want. So it is tuned to G or maybe it isn't. Let's go for oscillator frequency and see what that note is. It's an F. Bum, bum. Now let's go for this. It's, it needs to be G. It needs to be G. Now, without an, any reference, I can't really tell. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a instrument tuner. Tell me what note that is. Okay. Ready? Let's play a C. It plays an A sharp, so it's it's two semitones off. Alright. So if I Ah. Alright. All right. I didn't plan to uh, like uh, Okay, let's play a G. Now that plays F. What the hell? Let's play a higher octave. This plays F2, but it's a G on the keyboard. So that means I am I'm two semitones flat from what I should be. So G G sharp. I need to be playing an age. Oh, sorry, an A. Oh, that makes sense because A is like the the, the middle of the. Ah, oh, I see what you did. And now I press G on the keyboard and plays G. It's real. Okay. Can I play C? It's play C. Sweet. We can make some trap with this. But we're not gonna. <laughs> At least not in this video. Okay, so now you know how to make a a thumping, noisy, powerful, distorted 808 with G on kick and how to tune it so it does play a melody. Alrighty, let's go further. What, what else should we do? Give me some suggestions. Uh, heart style is still... Heart style is gonna be the last one. Hmm. Let's, uh... Damn, what could that be? Okay, let's not name it before we actually attempt to do the thing. Let's just open it up and, and start playing and see what we get. Okay, let's go. Oscillator frequency. Let's do some totally minimum... Yeah, it's like, like, like make it a minimalistic tune, like... Very, very delicate click. Oh, 
Alrighty, amplitude higher. And now, the oscillator amplitude. Okay, I think it should decay more logarithmically. Okay, that sounds that sounds pretty close to an acoustic kick because they often are pretty high. Like, um, um, all righty. What what we have to do now is add some noise component to this. And you see, for now, we've been only using one layer. We have three layers. We could do some pretty crazy things. Let's enable this noise oscillator, sorry, noise generator. Let's go band pass and try. Oh my goodness. I want to get the noise to sing for me. Noise, can you please sing for me? I want to get it in sync with the oscillator. So the it produces something like a reverberation effect or or the air in the drum. Oh, that's a... I'm trying to look at <laughs> Oh no, that's Okay, I think I need to use the noise amplitude and cut it off or Yeah, cut it off before before it gets so weird and noisy. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty kind of okay-ish. Um, well, I'm streaming already for 21 minutes. That ain't gonna be a short video, but whatever. Who cares? Okay, that's one layer of noise. Let's use another layer. Let's enable it. Let's disable the oscillator. And just use the noise. Whoa, sorry. Again, let's use a bandpass filter. Make the Q lower. Actually, that's the that's the that's inverse. The Q should be higher for more resonant sounds. That's how it's that's how it works. So Yuri Nistor, or however you should pronounce your name, this should be backwards. Like this is backwards. Lower Q means less seep filters. Not a biggie, but it makes it quite counterintuitive. Okay, all right. So now I'm layering weird noise layers, filter noise. I'm starting to like this. We could try this compressor but I really never understood how does it work. Like, it, it, it does stuff. But how does it do stuff? I have no idea. But it does some weird stuff, and I like that. That's pretty cool. No idea why, but... Why it works like this, specifically, but I like that it, it, it does things. Let's maybe... Play some, play a bit with the distort. Wow, d d there's strange things happening here. How does it sound? I'm gonna play it. Three, two, one. It's pretty loud, but it's not bad. Oh, that sounds acoustic. That sounds acoustic. Freaking yes. Take it. So this is acoustic. Perfect. Dang, Akus. Nice, we got one, two, three, four kicks done. Now it's time for the start of the show, which is gonna be a miserable, miserable attempt to create a heart style kick. And we might even try and make it play a melody. Alrighty. Let's go for it. Oscillator. Frequency. Let's make the amplitude higher, frequency. I think the, the hard style kicks have a pretty, mm, pretty intense 
Oh, I did one to one point too much. Okay, let's do that. Oh my goodness, this is oh, brutal. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna add some noise to this. Make it, yeah, low pass it, I guess. And use the filter, no, no, noise, amplitude, and I'm going to like, I want the noise, noise layer to swell. Also, I probably should enable distortion right away. Yeah, because that's gonna like, really like decide what, what, what the whole thing is gonna sound like. That's not bad. I'm gonna turn down the volume. I think I should turn down the drive too because we're operating on some ridiculously low amplitude levels. There's too little distortion in here. Someone with a Chinese name I can't read says, Good evening, Anfa. Good evening, someone with a Chinese name I can't read. How are you? Oh, that swell is interesting, but... I'm trying to, to, to make a triplet thingy, but kind of failing. Never mind. Oh, it's going up. I know I should be playing A. A is the key to success. I mean, to be able to play a melody. Okay. Let's try and tune it. Okay, this ain't hard style in the slightest, but I think if we add more layers and maybe enable this compressor and just, just do something ridiculous with it, it's gonna just, just magically save the sound and make it good. <laughs> Holy fuck! Almost there. We could enable the global filter. It, oh, okay. Let's, let's use the global, sorry, general filter cutoff and just make it a, a fil oh okay ah all right you see i made ah, okay i made a frequency so low it nothing could be done let's give this I think I should make this longer. Also, um, the oscillator frequency, it just, it, it falls off to something lower. It shouldn't. It should stay on the note. Never fall off. Mm, gonna have move on hertz. Okay, I got it. I don't know if this is hard style at all. I think I need an, something, I need a noise layer. I need a noise layer and I need it to be harsh. I need filtered with bandpass filter, with which is gonna be resonant. And I need this resonant noise filter cutoff to be doing things. Oh yeah, kind of like that. Probably not the best way to do it. Holy fuck. No. Now there goes the monetization. The thing I miss is the ability to modulate the distortion parameters with an envelope. That would be really neat. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think we are done with our five types of kick made with Gion kick. Um, yes, uh, not the best, not the brightest, but let's uh, revisit them and listen to all the kicks in order. Ah, I just need to rename this one. It's gonna be hard style kick. Wow, such original. Nine. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that was really unbalanced. The sidekick was very, very quiet in comparison to the rest. I think I need to compensate that. Wait a minute. The yeah, let's enable the distortion uh, and make the volume 100% and make this just so we turn up the volume. Not to, I don't want to saturate it really. So there you have it. It's five types of kick drum synthesized with Geon Kick, a Liber, which means free and open source, drum synthesizer currently available for Linux, but a Windows version is coming soon. I'm going to I'm going to upload these patches for you so you can take them apart and hopefully that's going to be of interest. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this video was uh, useful. I don't have any anything on my t-shirt here. I am really in a need of for some good t-shirt ideas for open source music production. I have some money to spend on printing t-shirts. If you have any cool ideas, let me know. I may I might just put these designs to a web store so you can buy them too, if you'd like. Why not? I don't want to make any money on that. I just want to make cool t-shirts. So, if you want to actually help me and, like, give me your money, because why wouldn't you? If I just randomly stream in the middle of the night, when I should be getting ready to work tomorrow morning, then you can join the awesome group of people on Patreon, which uh, do support me with a monthly contribution, and uh, or, or liberal pay, too. I should have probably prepared with um, like uh, some text or something. I don't have that. If if this format of live streamed videos catches on, I'm probably going to do that. What if I just started doing everything as live streams? No editing. Olive is a great video editor, but maybe I should just go with the flow of the bits uh, and just just live stream everything. No editing, like like the good old days. The good old days when I filmed everything with a potato laptop webcam without any decent lighting or a microphone. Well, that, well, that was the best times of Unfus content. Sure. No. But maybe some parts of that are, are a good idea. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everyone who's there in the live stream chat. <laughs> I wave to you. Nobody complained about my voice being too quiet, so I think that's good. I have below 1% of dropped frames, so that's good. If you really need that, I can I can give you the raw footage so we can edit this video into something more coherent because everyone was recording it too. And it somehow didn't bog down the whole system and it looks like the, the frames per second is good. And I'm rambling on for way too long right now. You know what? Maybe I'll do another live stream like that tomorrow and show you how to make some awesome snares, because why not? I want to make more stuff, but editing takes a lot of time. Let's live stream the whole thing then. Okay, so that's that. Once again, thank you all for uh, being here and check all the stuff. Uh, you'll find all the things in the video description. Have a good one. Now go and make some music. Yes, I want to end the stream now.